Hi guys, Pathogaming Gaming right here right now bringing another coaching session today with Tristan who is D4 in NA. Welcome! <laughs> so, first Thank question. Uh, what item do you start and why? Um, in this game, who knows? I took I took a I took a rod because uh, it's flexible. I think you could be uh, cog reroll or you could play an AP based comp. Um, and Lissandra likes it for uh, burning things that are really chunky. Okay, that is an insufficient answer, sir. Damn. Um, I need you. I need you to know what your top one, two, and three items are, and why. Okay. And you need to go into every like. Uh, you should have uh, like some comps. Like if you're aiming for master, you want <laughs> you want to have let's say at least three comps you can play. If you're aiming for higher, then the more comps the better. Okay. But you need to like think of okay what do these items do so i always have this i always have this open in my in my second on my second screen mm -hmm. and it's like what do i want and why so if you're going for rod that means you can build some sort of ap items right or, or you can fire. build or you yeah. can build a rage blade rage blade excuse me yeah yeah and it's like who actually wants these items well it's typically arcanists right mm -hmm. uh, who else do you think is good with using you mentioned lissandra uh, yeah, I mean, Morello's goes on any, like, AoE champion that yeah. does AP. Uh, um, the uh, Rageblade is good on Warwick, Kog'Maw. Uh, I guess that's all. That, and Yone, if, but that's an older build, so I don't sure if that's the yeah, date. Okay, but um, the builds you mentioned, they um, don't want rods. AD? Yeah, They yeah, don't want yeah. rods. They want sure. maybe a rod. <laughs> they can use yeah. a rod. But it's not like you want like the first pick <laughs> for Arcanists. For Arcanists, yeah, you you typically have some spellcaster. So Merle is is usable. You want Jewel Gauntlet. You want Ionic Spark. Maybe you can even use a Hexagon Blade for Arcanists, right? So it's like for Arcanists, right, right, right. Rod is good. Possibly if you're playing uh, Oriana or Seraphine, then you can also mm -hmm. kind of use Morello. Maybe you want uh, Archangels. Maybe you can use a Deathcap or Rage Blade. And also, some of the legendaries are good with, like, uh, Gunblade, <coughs> Archangels, and GA. Gotcha. Yeah, but it's like, you need to figure these things out. That's why, I like, this is always my starting question, and I want and I want you to kind of go into every game with a plan. Okay. So, what would your, your top three comps be? Um, I usually find myself playing Urgot, uh, Challenger... And uh, I guess recently I've been trying to make uh, cog reroll work, but it, I think it just got nerfed, so maybe not. Okay, so what are those three comps have in common? What item is the most useful in those comps? Uh, bows. Yes, exactly. Yep. We want uh, rune ends. We want uh, last whispers. Uh, yeah, all bows. Rage blade can work. Uh, Giant slayer can work. Even mm -hmm. RFC is decent on on uh, actually, I guess all of them because it gives a lot of attack speed. The, w the way they reworked it is, is give, it gives oh, I didn't know. fifty attack speed. So I mean, obviously for challengers it's not that amazing, but for those who mm -hmm. can use attack speed, it's kind of like a rage blade up front. Okay. Right, because rage blade is plus six, so whatever nine times six is fifty four. So after nine autos. Or wait, there's plus 10 attack speed. Sorry. So it's, uh, shit. It's what? Eight times, seven times six is 42. So seven times six is 42 plus 10 is 52. So after so like seven, attacks, after seven autos, Gwyn is better than, than RFC. Okay. But RFC is, is kind of a crazy item that you can even put on spellcasters. If you think about it, like, uh, Victor, for example, mm -hmm. with this, he'll cast a lot sooner. And it's better for the first cast than Rage Blade. For the second cast, I believe Rage Blade is better. And for any successive cast, Rage Blade is definitely better. But for first cast, RFC is really good if you want someone to cast. Okay. Yeah, and this is like, okay, this is probably more than like master level, but this is just like some detail of, of itemization. Um, so yeah, so you should be going for bows, right? What mm -hmm. do you think is the second best item for those comps? Uh, swords. Uh-huh. For like a GA or an IE or maybe yep. a Deathblade, right? Giant Slayer as well. Mm-hmm. 
and I'm, those are also a flex well with i mean like ga and sojin are pretty flexible for anywhere exactly and then what would be your let's say let's say third and fourth item uh cloak and then uh chain i guess mm -hmm. chain i definitely agree agree with I, I i'm not a big fan of cloak i don't usually go for cloak i, I prefer belt if i can but yeah, it's not super strong really uh but yeah as long as you you realize okay so cloak is good for maybe bt runans d claw spark qss so i mean it has a, a lot of slams maybe it's just like because i've been playing for so so long and cloak has always been like a meme item or mm -hmm. meme component but it could definitely be one of the top four so like you want these four items because you know for, for from these items you can always build or like components you can always build decent items for your Yone, Urgot, and Kogma. So that's kind of yeah. how you should approach the game, and you should you should almost always be able to get one of these four items, right? That seems very likely. Because it's either full item carousel or, uh, I mean, full component carousel or defensive component carousel. And then if you can't, then maybe you get one of the other ones and you make it work. So that's like, that's like the first thing. Know what you want to play one, before you go into the game. Okay. So here, um, you were going for something else, I believe. Oh, you were actually going for the rod. Okay. Well, I had a... Yeah, I was just like, oh, I don't know what to do. And then I went there. Okay. So, so like, in the, in the past, I was uh, forcing, like, 104 comps and making it work. And that's how I think I got to master before. But I've okay. been trying to play more flex recently, which is not working out for me. I don't think that's my play style, but I've been trying it. Um, okay. Okay, that's another thing. Uh, do you want to reach master or do you want to be a better player? Because those are somewhat different things. Different things. Yeah. yeah. Gotcha. Gotcha. I mean, ideally both, but because uh, I, I can, I, I can get you to master, like telling you to force one comp, telling you the ins and out of the comp, and you'll be in master in like fifty games tops. Or right I on. can explain to you how the game works on a, in a broader sense, and. It might take you 100, 200 games to get the master, but then you can continue climbing and you and you will kind of, with patch changes, you'll be able to play different patches rather than just like abuse this. It's strong this patch. So no, yeah, I would I would I would prefer to be a better player overall. Okay. I'm like I'm fairly comfortable forcing a comp. I think if I if I know it well, like it's that's what I've done in the past. But mm -hmm. um, I would I would much rather be able to play each individual game better. Okay, so I would I would suggest like right now I think Urgot is one of the strongest comps. Okay. So oh, you should, we should be doing my other video then. <laughs> I effed it up. I got an Urgot three and uh, I didn't get twin shot and then I lost. <laughs> so do you want to do you want to switch? I mean, we can I think switch. that's the second one. Can yeah, you can you uh, can you put the bar to the end and see which? which I, I this is the up? first game. This is the first game. I know what I know. I, I watched this game. I already watched. Okay. okay. Cool. 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 So we're switching to okay, switching to the second one. Um, Sorry, <laughs> that's fine. It's fine. Um, I have them both prepared. Um, so, like default is Urgot. Then backup can be Yone. Perhaps you should learn how to play Jin because he's really strong as well. Yep, I I've not liked Jin because his animation is so long. Like before he does his ultimate, so it seems yeah. like it's annoying. But but it's it's he, like the strong. whole yeah. the whole point of the comp is for you to stall long enough for him to clear the board. Thing. Yeah. Gotcha. And. So that those should be like your default comps, and then you should play flex based on augments. Okay. So I'm I'm not sure about I know nothing about. I'm not sure I'm about underdogs like right now, but like if you get so small, for example, mm -hmm. you're forcing Force those yordles. Yeah. Yep. I just got a first place in on my other account. On a exactly. <laughs> exactly. Or if you get all for one. You should be playing. Uh, you should be playing Samira. Imperial. Samira, yeah. yeah, yeah. If you get, I don't know, like one of those uh, broken stopwatch, you should try to get try to get the Jin. That's like Jin, these yeah, kinds yeah. of things, like, or if you get like the healing augment, you should probably play like some sort of Arcanist Enchanter or Enchanter with innovate with innovators. Which one's that called? The the healing augment. Ard okay, like ardent celestial crescent? blessing. No, 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 no. Uh, ardent. Crescent or whatever, like the one okay. where each heal gives you more attack speed, and also there's first oh. eight, first aid kit. First aid kit okay. is also like more healing. 
I have not. I have not seen. I have not thought about this. And then you have, for example, then you have, uh, like, if you get extra chem tech, that that means you're you get a Zach, you're instantly forcing Ergot. If you get uh, extra bodyguard, you get a Leona. You should con really strongly consider uh, either um, Jin with Leona, like Jin Jin bodyguard or Yone bodyguard. It's like augments should like the first augment should kind of dictate your game, okay. because the first augment is random, the second one is semi-random, and the third one is I would say like eighty percent tailored. So oh, I did not realize that. I thought they were all random. No, 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 no. They're 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 like the the middle one is kind of frustrating because I think it's like fifty percent tailored and fifty percent random, but the third one is. Let's say 80% tailored. So sometimes you get the randomest shit on the last one and it's frustrating. But most of the time, I would say 80-90%, it's actually useful for your comp. Okay. Now, so uh, just going back real quick, you said uh, the Ardent Crescent in first aid, you play Arcanists? Um, yeah, they're there. Uh, or I would say like uh, Arcanist Enchanter or some sort of Enchanter comp, like Innovator Enchanter, for example. Because okay. Seraphine has healing and then you want to play Taric for Socialite. And then you want to play Janna, and, and then, then Flappy or what? No, 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 just just uh, stall. You just stall and, and burn him with Morello okay. and just keep healing. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Because and also for as I as I mentioned, Arcanist, you have Vex that has a shield, and then you have Swain that has a heal, and then you want to play Janna plus either Yumi or Lissandra for Scholar, and mm -hmm. you're kind of like Arcanist are similar in the fact that they're usually a stall comp. You want to make sure that Vex survives long enough for Victor to cast and for Lux to cast multiple times. Gotcha. So just like that's kind of thinking about the game and thinking like how the augment actually affects your options. That is useful knowledge. Thing. And then obviously there's like Throw of the Hunt, Celestial Blessing and all of that and that just super flex. But then if you get like a Yordle specific one which you can, which you can abuse then just go for it. Cool. I really like the the like not the the B patch or like this initial patch where you also get uh, a unit from the from the comp like Lissandra gives you I mean sorry Scholar gives you a Lissandra Bodyguard gives you a Leona Chemtech gives you a Zac those are all really good units on two one mm -hmm. like first fight you already have a Liss or a Zac or a Leona that's really good nice so that's like right now it's actually a decision before it's like um. Bodyguard soul or item grab bag. It's like, what the fuck? Why would I want a body get body bodyguard soul? Obviously, I want item grab. But I was like, oh, bodyguard soul and Leona. Well, I think that's actually decent. Okay, because I've always just been defaulting to like an item one if I see it. it. It depends. Like what? I mean, on the on the first on one four item one is still really really good. But if you have like some tank items for Leona, or if you already have like some sort of carry, or if you have mm -hmm. a, a Poppy or a Garen, no, sorry, Poppy or Darius, then Leona's not bad. And or or like if it's the the soul, you have two bodyguard instantly, right? So yep. then you can just play Leona for two bodyguard, and then you can just play some backline damage. Hey. If you have like if you have like a item like a Rage Blade. It's so like a Rage Blade, whatever, Caitlyn, Tristana, Kogma, with like Leona Graves, for example, it can be really strong early. Okay. So it's just like all these options, considering, like, that's the thing, like, considering all the options. Okay, you do not sell this Leona like, like that. Okay. In the past, I've, I've thought that more gold, more good. But I think that is an old set idea, or maybe just a bad idea that I've had. Okay, so first of all, how many units can you play right now? Only two. Okay, what are what do you think are the two? Actually, you can still buy you can buy four units. What the fuck? You have you have so much four. gold. You can buy. Yeah. You could have bought three I of them. Could have bought three of them anyway. So yeah. just buying the two best ones and keeping Leona is probably a better idea. So like, what what do you think would be would be the best ones here? Uh. Camille and I don't know. Caitlyn's pretty usable early. How about TF Ziggs and you have Leona frontline and you have two Arcanists. Also good. That's probably smarter. <laughs> plus you can buy. Plus you can buy Caitlyn. Yep. Camille is good. 
good front line. Graves is, is great front line as well, but you would have the owner front line. Lena's already front line, yeah, yeah. But what would you play here on 1-3? Uh, I... Leona, Caitlyn. You would Leona never play. Six. You would never play. Ka- you would never play the Leona. Oh, because it's sorry. One three. Uh, probably just six TF. Yeah, exactly six TF. And then if you get something like some other direction, then you sell the Leona. Mm-hmm. Like you never sell. You never sell the. Or, or, so you you the might. Open. You might get three gold, and then it's like, well, why the fuck do I have a Leona? Why do I have three extra gold but not no Leona? So. Word. Definitely just mistake one. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah. Like, this is, like, usually people think, like, oh, the first creep rounds are irrelevant. No, no, no. The first creep rounds yeah. okay. kind of, you can fuck up your early game just by the th- first three, first creep rounds. So, like, right now, you have Static Shiv, or you have Archangels, or you have Rage Blade. Mm-hmm. And those are all extremely powerful items if you have enough front line. Because eventually you will demolish everyone with, with Static Shiv, Rage Blade, or Archangels. Yep. They're all kind of, like, stacking items. Or, sorry, scaling items. Scaling items, that's what it is. Uh, uh, yeah, I agree with Rich Get Richer. So you don't want... TF? Okay. Yeah, I'm not sure, sure, I'm sure what I was thinking there. What the I fuck don't... is this? You know, <laughs> you need you need frontline, backline. That's like the most simple thing, right? Yep. So, you have a Graves pair. Yeah, I got pair, 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 and then this, but these like, two trash items. You you don't need the the Camille and the Elahui. Yep. Right. So it's like you play you play the Graves pair plus like a Ziggs. Okay. And then you probably keep the TF. For for Arcanist. Because like you're limiting your options a lot already. Really. Yeah, yeah. And. Um, what is this? Huh. Oh, shit, you could have made... Oh, you could have made 20 as well. But, yeah, that 13, was that, that would have been 15, risky. 15, that would have been... 18. Yeah. If you pl- Camille, but I, with, Camille with a bow or something? Camille with a bow could have soloed this, but, yeah, that's, that's like, extremely risky play. That's not worth it. But, yeah, I think you sold something as well, didn't you? I sold a TF. Yeah, exactly. Like and I didn't need to. Yeah. Why the fuck? I was getting yeah. this term. Yeah. So that's like yeah, that's like it would have cost you nothing to hold the TF. So yep. You sell at the end of the at the end of the round. So do we want a win streak or loss streak? Uh, right now I was thinking win streak because I have the money to stay at ten and have four units. Camille is tanky. Trundle can carry. And, uh, Caitlin's probably gonna delete one of their units at some point at two stars with a shiv or something okay um i think you you scout a little bit like here you should just if you want to commit to win streak you should maybe scout like very intensively Scouts more yeah more yeah. scout because it's it's like and, yeah yeah and also i didn't slam an item after deciding i want to win streak i put Fuck. a bow on trundle um so and here i'm kind of thinking think. since you have rich get richer just go to 20 mm-hmm um, you can play double Ilawi, right? If you play double Ilawi, Caitlyn, and then it's one, two, three, four. Yeah, it's twenty, right? Yeah. So like that—that's augment specific. You have mm-hmm. extra gold, so like the difference between ten gold and twenty gold, it's huge because like two extra interest means you're you're hitting thirty sooner. Yeah. Right. Like you can you get um whatever you get plus seven I think the next round. And then if you get lucky, maybe you can even sell the Caitlyn and then you're then you're already at 30. Then you would be mm-hmm. at 30 at 2-3. That means you're 40 at 2-4. That means you're 50 after Carousel. That means you're 70 by Krugs. And you're farming gold 70, which is seven seven extra gold per round from, from Krugs until like 3-2. Maybe like you start killing units and you go eight on 4-1, on you go eight. So you, you okay. could be level eight and you have 50 gold on 4-1. If you... Fully utilize your augment. That's what I meant by the augments. Gotcha. Just this specific one right now. This specific, like... Yeah, yeah. You can, like, you can either... So there's two options. You either level aggressively. So you go to four mm-hmm. now, and you go to five on on two, two, and you're very aggressive. Or you're extremely greedy. And, like, if you 
kind of level, get a little bit stronger, but then don't play your strongest board. What is your strongest board, by the way, sir? Okay. Uh, okay, okay, we got it. We got that. that I yes. did it. Huh. So you don't want a Rage Blade or or a, or even uh, Archangel is, is is okay. So I guess yeah, I guess you don't want any yeah. Of these I mean, I, I probably sh I probably could have slammed a Shiv, but I do get the upgrade from Scrap. But I don't yeah. And then I lost, so I probably should commit it to. Yeah, is, wouldn't to wouldn't twenty gold be nicer here? Yes. So absolutely. wait, what, what does this guy have? Does he have? Hundred percent. He has one two star. Oh, but he has a he has a spark. Yeah, he and he's got a clock watch. Oh, that doesn't do anything, but. Oh yeah, he has. Well, he's got a clock, one clock, but yeah, yeah. one star Camille. <laughs> um. Yeah, and this is okay. <coughs> so Caitlyn, one star Caitlyn, two star Caitlyn. There's almost no difference. Okay. Right, like her ulti kills a unit. Mm -hmm. She take like she tickles with her autos a little bit, and then her ulti kills a unit. That's that's what she does. And she's never going to tank anything. So one star, two star. There's not that much of a difference. Okay. So you have essentially a full one star board, while he has a one star, a uh, two star frontline unit, which is really good. The fact that it's a frontline unit. Mm -hmm. So yeah, as I mentioned, like the play of getting to twenty would have been would have been the the safer play. What did I, oh, I'm just playing the sound. Yeah. So now you're at 10 instead of 20. And now you're still going to be at 10, right? Mm -hmm. Rather than yeah. losing one it. and selling to 30. So imagine if you had 30 here. Yeah, yes, you would lose a lot of HP. But as I mentioned, you hit 70 by Krugs. And 70 gold by Krugs is so fucking broken. Yeah. Because then you just go to 6 on 3-2. On you go to 7 on maybe like 3-5 or 3-7. Or and then you go to 8 on 4-1, 4-2. And then you just put in random legendaries on 4-2 while everyone's just scrambling for epics. And, and crush them. Yeah. Got it. Um, here, yeah, there's not much of an improvement you can do. No. It's also the fact that you don't like these items... If you don't want to slam them, like I understand why you're not slamming them because they're not ideal items, but mm -hmm. then you can't win streak. So it's either make make the rage blade, make the static shiv, mm -hmm. or if you don't want to make them, then you lost streak. Those are your two so options. Put it, put in some weaker units just to streak. Uh, I mean, you're not gonna win much anyway. Yeah. But I mean, if you're not gonna make if you're not gonna make the shiv or the rage blade, then you're essentially lost streaking. So I should have gone to thirty. Yeah, we should have gone to twenty at the beginning. Yeah, and lost streak because I wasn't that, making. That's it. like like that's a decision. That's a decision you can make. Do I want yeah. a win streak? Okay, I slam a win streak item like like rage blade or static shiv. I don't want a win streak. I don't. I don't want to slam these items. So that means I'm probably lost streaking. So it's always like I slam a. If you can slam a decent item, you do it. If you can slam like a this is these items are kind of garbage, but they're just win streak items, right? Mm -hmm. They just provide a lot of utility early, and then they fall off a cliff. So, yeah. So, I think um, he has... Oh, he has the TF. Yeah. I got one. Yeah. I got two. Yeah. Good loss. So, yeah. I mean, okay. The thing you did, you're at 92 HP. My play would get you to, like, 84 HP or, like, 86 mm -hmm. or whatever. You'd be, you'd be losing a lot more HP with my play. The one I suggested. But now you're at 20, which is still super strong at 2-3. But imagine being at fucking 40. <laughs> yeah. Twice as strong. Yeah. It's, it's just like, this is based on the augment. And this is like, uh, you can think about it before the game, or you can just kind of think about it on the fly and realize, oh, wait, I actually have a lot of gold. What if I just go to 20 and 30 and 40? Yeah. And there goes my streak. Uh, but now it's fine, because now you can level up to 5, if not 6, after Carousel, but definitely 5. Mm, I don't know if I do that. Oh, God. So, yeah, stre streaking is <laughs> kind of important. Yeah. I've been I've been trying to streak more recently. I, it's not something yeah. I had looked at for a while, so... So, I guess we're going for the Runans here. Yeah. yeah. 
Uh, uh, but okay, so you're you're committed to to your your god. Yeah, it's fine. You're going for those items. Uh, I'm just thinking. Uh, it feels kind of bad. Like you could you could have just gone death cap Heimer, for example, if you would like. Mm -hmm. Just like to consider your options. Like I'm not saying it's good here, but like, like maybe in this particular situation, no. But like overall, death cap Heimer is not that bad. Is a strong early mid game thing. Yeah. Uh, yeah, death cap Heimer with a tear. So maybe you get a Shojin or a blue buff somehow. Okay, we we're leveling up. I do go to five. Oh fuck, we're rolling. Oh shit. Yeah, I, I, that's something I've like never done, but I did it. I'm not sure why right there. I love it, sir. I love it. <laughs> I, I've done it like this is a challenge level play. Like nobody would nobody would consider rolling here. Like I have done it as well. I have done it I as like, well. I like being stronger. Yeah. Like <laughs> if you if you don't overdo it, you rolled once, you found something, perfect. Like you 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 should always Consider rolling after leveling up, so you can do it on on two or three if you're this rich. Why not? Mm -hmm. <laughs> We're buying double cor double Warwick. Okay. I'm not. Yeah. Uh, uh. <laughs> mm. Keeping challengers open. What the fuck is this? Why is Caitlyn getting blades when you have four tanks? Is she getting what now? Blitzed. Oh, yeah. yeah. You have four fucking tanks. Right? Like, Vi should be over here, for example. Yeah, good call. Or right next to her. Oh, like, always have a Blitz target. Like, typically, okay. Typically, easy peasy when you have... First of all, you don't have snipers, so it doesn't matter where units are, so you can just backline everything. Yep. That's, mm -hmm. like, one of the tips. Okay. Uh, but... If you don't want to backline everything, this is how, how you should kind of do your default. So if this is your carry, mm -hmm. it's Caitlyn. And then whatever we have, uh, uh, fuck, Ilawi and what, and Vi. So this is two-star Ilawi, so she's over here. She fights off assassins and Vi is there to get blitzed. Okay. And then we have what a blitzcrank and a trundle. Blitzcrank and a trundle. Yeah. So blitzcrank and like trundle is kind of the carry, so you want to have him like maybe maybe here. So like he doesn't get aggroed, right? So you, you want blitz to get aggroed. Mm -hmm. Or if you want to be more protective, why not just do something like like this? Nice. Like blitz can bring them back here, so then they get focused down. Yeah, or you can, or you can like, of, uh, this way you can put the Ilawi up because she's two star. So she can be mm -hmm. the, the, the super tank. You don't care if she dies first. No. Nope. And everything else is protecting. You need to protect Caitlyn and Trundle because they're your carries. Like he's not a tank. She's not a tank. The rest are tanks. So you're protected from assassins. You're protected from blitzes from both sides, right? Either mm -hmm. here or here. They will pull Blitzcrank or Vi and you're chilling. Word. Yeah, so it's like here. This is just sloppy. I, I don't think you even you even scouted for blitzes, right? Yeah. And I mean, he's kind of sloppy having the twisty on the outskirts rather than than in the nook, because like you could have if you position blitz on the other side, you could have pulled the twist. Mhm. Mm and your game is fucked. So yep. like. <laughs> so like this, just doing this, like okay, you're at thirty gold, you have no streak. So imagine 70 gold, 5 loss streak. That's... Much better. Because yeah. I'd be at, like, what, 76 instead of 82, but I'd have 70 gold. You would be at 60 HP, my friend. Okay, that's uh, that would make what? me very uncomfortable. What? Why? <laughs> I don't know. I, close to death, right? <laughs> okay. Yeah. I, I'm sure you know you this. Know that mindset? Yeah, How much HP do you need to win the game? Uh, one. One HP? Yeah, worse. So what is better, 82 HP and 38 gold, or 60 HP and 70 gold? Uh, option B. Option B, right? Because like you can you can level up to to six and seven like super early on stage three, and then you power spike. So yes, you will drop to 60. You might drop down to like 40 or 50 by by three two. If you're like, and then you can level on three five to eight or like to seven at least and start rolling a little bit, and mm -hmm. then you stabilize at like 40 HP. But you'll be 40 HP, yeah. 
from three five until stage five. Yeah. While true. everyone else is is scrambling, you're like, oh, I'm chilling. I have I have forty HP, but I have a strong board, and I'm gonna get back to seventy gold. Then I'm gonna go eight, possibly go nine, and win the game. It you're is. always buying double double this and Leona. I would say is is probably good. Yeah. I guess I don't value the owner like I should. Uh, I mean, with this, like, if you're playing Warwick, Lissandra. I think I sell all these to get make 40 also. Not all of them, but yeah. Oh, fuck me. I mean, yeah. yeah. Okay. I should. <laughs> you got to decide. Like, this is, you, you always have to ask yourself the question. Am I win streaking or am I lost streaking? Or yeah. am I just fucking about? It seems like I'm fucking about. Exactly, right? Thank you. <laughs> You see it too, cause um, what if my streak now. what if here you cut Blitz, you cut Vi, you cut Trondle, mm -hmm. and you play Leona, Lissandra, and Warwick. Yep. Suddenly, because uh, these are all one stars, you don't really give a fuck about them. Mm -hmm. And those are better units, and they transition better. Or like, yeah, you, you keep you can yeah you, you you play the Leona that's already stronger. You have like almost two star list, almost two star Warwick. Mm -hmm. And then you obviously keep the Ilawi because she's two star, and you keep the Caitlyn because she's two star. Yep. And then you have at least you have uh, Leona in there, and it's just like maybe you can keep the Blitz. <laughs> I guess you can keep the Blitz as well, and then just put the Blitz in next level or something. And then on level six, you can roll a little bit, at least two star Warwick, maybe two star Liss, maybe two star Blitz, and you get a lot stronger. Because like what what you're doing right now is you're going for a great loss streak. This is like, I'm lost streaking kind of play. Yeah. Because you could have gotten a lot stronger, and you're like, I don't want to get stronger now. I might get stronger later. Mm -hmm. But it's 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 so risky. Because you like you, you can't sell Liss and, and Warwick pair, because I've gotten easy first, just re-rolling Liss and Warwick. If you have three-star Liss, three-star Warwick, you win the game. It's that easy. Yep. So you, you kind of gave up on that option to... What to play this garbage? And that's like, um, none of these plays are bad on their own. It's just like the combinations of plays don't make sense. They don't have like a, a cohesive strategy. Yeah, because like I'm gonna win streak. No, I'm gonna lose streak. No, I'm gonna win streak. No, I'm gonna lose streak. It's like what the yeah, fuck, dude? Yeah. Make up your mind what you want to do, and you you like change your strategy. Maybe okay, you want to win streak from from two one. You lost. Okay, you're full loss streaking. Then maybe like make your board weaker because I know you won along along there somewhere again and then it's just like, yeah. So, <coughs> oh yeah, you rolled you rolled after carousel to be stronger, but then you weren't really that much stronger yeah, and it's, it was just it didn't stay stronger. Yeah. yeah. Um, we're going for a spark here. I think spark is. Uh, yeah, probably a good idea. It's not what I do. <laughs> spark on Ilawi. Like, what is the? You want you want sword for GA, right? So, I would be. Happy with a spark. Oh, lock the shop. I like that. I like keep, that. Keep the echo. I think I'm going for yeah. four scrap here after I go to six. Okay. We're rolling. That's fine. Okay. We should be buying stuff. Buy buying. Things. Don't just, just skip them. Like buying things gives you options. Mm-hmm. Like, no, so back. we didn't buy. Oh, we didn't buy the war. Okay, we didn't buy the Warwick. So like, Samira's there. Tarek is there. Kate Camilla's there. You're buying that. What if you hit two star Samira? What if you hit two star mm -hmm. Tarek? Like it's just these are like free win conditions that you're not even pursuing. Like, like, eh, yeah. You're not even giving yourself the option to high roll. Heard. Because if you're, like, what the fuck are you rolling for? You're rolling for a scrap. Yeah. But what if you find something better? Nope. <laughs> like, I'm not saying anything anything was better or worse than, than just a scrap unit. But, like, not buying those units just doesn't give you extra options. Okay. And uh, I, I just okay. I, I've, okay. I've watched some people play scrap. Scrap is is good. Um, like Samara Warwick, Camille, and maybe Quinn. Like four challenger would have wouldn't have been terrible either. But I think four scrap is fine right now. 
I'm still... <laughs> the Caitlyn's is still back there. Anybody wants to blitz her, go for it. So, yeah. I hope from now on you will consider blitz being a unit. Yes. Blitz exists. I even yeah. have one. Yeah, exactly. Like, you even have blitz. By the way, you're not sweating your blitz. You should be swapping sides if someone... if, if Like, looking if at you... Looking at you, I realize maybe other diamond players don't know that Blitz exists either. So what if I snipe their carry? Oh, I can move Blitz from the left to the right and try to snipe something. Nice. Because there were, like, the Malhazahar was in this 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 tile over yeah, here. Yeah, he's in the tile. Which, which is Blitzable. This is Blitzable. If he's in, in this tile, you can Blitz him from, from, the, from the front corner. Mm-hmm. From this nook, you you blitz him instead of instead really? of the back unit. Yeah. And he was here. He was in this vulnerable spot. Mm -hmm. Maybe that guy was not aware of it. So He's in the back pocket. Yeah. This is the farthest. This is the farthest. But this is the farthest from on this side. Okay. Yeah. I, I, but it needs to be in the in the in the corner. Look, if mm -hmm. this is like farthest away corner. Anywhere else? No, no, no. There's just front corner or back or like. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. but like not anywhere else it needs to be here here or here and then it'll wait sorry this is reversed yeah. so okay Mirror so if, 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 if it's over there you need to be like here here or here with your blitz gotcha no fuck here or here I, I know what you're saying I know what you're here saying. or here like <laughs> opposite yes 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 opposite of the of the mazar yeah I would go for Sunfire board here. Yeah, probably. Yeah, I chose Junkyard. Junkyard is not a stage three augment. It's a stage one augment because you already missed out. Like, you already mm -hmm. missed out on One, two, three, four, five, six. six stages or something. Seven or yeah. uh, seven rounds. Mm -hmm. So you're getting like half. You're you're getting essentially you're getting a silver augment instead of a gold one. Gotcha. While everyone else is getting a gold augment. So yeah. Okay, so you... Oh, you didn't slam because you went for scrap. Okay, my bad. That's fine. You're going for the scrap, though? Caitlin. Caitlin's still hanging oh, out. Fuck. I clicked on zero by accident. Sorry. That's okay. Um, there we go. Both I mean, Caitlyn gives you Enforcer. Um, I don't know, like, Kogma over... It's tough. Like, here, you want the scraps in. But here, you're just... Win, like, win-loss, win-loss, win-loss. No good. By the way, this quality, it's it's your quality, not mine. You, you sent it at yeah, the yeah. yeah, I I noticed that. Yeah, I mean, it's Sorry. it's easier because it's... I mean, I don't mind. It just... Uh, I hope you're not upset that it's shitter quality. Nope. It, it's easier to upload and, like, easier to stream, but it's just... Yeah. Doesn't look great. Doesn't look great. Wait, what? Wait, wait, wait. One second. We yeah, have a do. GA. Yeah, we do. So we have a GA and we have a QSS. Mm-hmm. GA uh, better. GA is amazing on Urgot and decent on Yone. Mm -hmm. QSS is not playable on Urgot and decent on Yone. Mm -hmm. Like you need you need QSS or GA on Yone, and you need GA on Urgot. You don't need BT. Okay. Why don't you need BT? Because uh, of Chemtech, he regenerates. You have Chemtech, or you have your clone to heal you. Mm -hmm. If you're playing Yone. Yep. So that's why BT is, is decent on like Shackle or Samira, for example. Gotcha. Because the Syndicate healing is kind of meh, and Samira just has a fuck ton of damage from Imperial, but no healing. Mm -hmm. But if you have healing traits, then you don't really need to go for extra healing. And I already had a cloak, so I don't know what the hell I'm doing. Oh, shit. Um, yeah, you got a cloak to... Oh, fuck, fuck me, you got a cloak to slam <laughs> BT? <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay then. <laughs> and come on, man. 
This is the same shit I had with the other with the other client. You have rich get richer. Get to seventy. Yeah. Like no, just stay on sixty. Don't just spend I waste eight gold on on XP. Yeah. I mean, obviously, right, yeah. it happens to me as well, and and my chat makes fun of me that I get exiles and then I don't reposition my units for three rounds until chat tells me that I'm an idiot and then I reposition. But yeah, just like be more aware of your augments. Okay. Don't take scrap out. That's another thing that sometimes I end up taking out scrap. And I'm like, oh, where are my my scrap items? Oh, I don't have scrap in. Oh, good. So, yeah, just be mindful of these things. But that's just like 10 gold. Like, the buying the XP did absolutely nothing for you. And I'm pretty sure you you, you stay at 50 the whole game. Or, like, stay at 50 as long as possible. And yeah, look at that. Fun. You get bliss again. Did not learn your lesson the first time. Nope. Big done. Win, loss, win, loss, win, loss, win, loss, win, loss. It's also fun when when chat like when chat flames you. It's it's it, it helps you remember these things. Yeah. Oh yeah. Don't be dumb. <laughs> yep. I leveled again. Dude. Ooh, look at you. We don't level here. Yeah. What what are level intervals? When do we level? Typically, uh, like ninety percent of the time. Wolves are four one. For seven. Yeah, exactly. Uh, three, two for six. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. And eight whenever you can, and nine whenever you can. But it's like mm -hmm. three, two, three, two, three, five. Possibly, if you had, if you played my sure. my strategy of lost, you could easier get to, to seven here. Mm -hmm. Or or wolves on four one or four two. What is yeah. the only time you can level you level to seven on three six? Oh wait, there's like two cases. Two cases. Oh, uh, I don't know then. Well, think. What, what what could the two cases be? Like, why why would you level here? <laughs> I feel like I made the wrong choice, so I, I don't I can't think of one right now. Okay, one choice. Like one reason would be to maintain a win streak. Okay. Yeah, yeah. That's why, like, you are on a one win. Who gives a fuck? If you were on like a nine win or a or a four or five win, maybe you level here. Okay. And the other one is mercenary cash out. Right. Typically, you want to level on three five so that you have two rounds to cash out in case you face like a strong opponent and don't manage to cash out. But if you're if you want to play risky, then you can level on three six and roll down on on three six to try to cash out your your mercs. Because typically, people people level and roll down on four one, so you need to do it before them so that you're strong enough to. To win streak, uh, to win your your uh, pirate prize or whatever loot treasure. Mm -hmm. uh, treasure box. Oh my god! Oh fuck it! Uh, no, not stop! Oh, our gold, it. our fucking precious gold! No, no, yeah, you're still gone. going. It's gone. It's you're gone. You're still going. I, there's no off button. I decided to roll. <laughs> I got a twenty. I'm great. You're at sixty, and what does it even do for one fucking round? Yeah, I think I still, I might lose, I don't know. Now I win, but still. Uh, okay, so what, so you traded four interest gold? To get one. To, um, to get one? To get two. Not and, to get two, because I ended, ended a streak and okay. I won. So yeah, yeah, but still. Uh, like to get two extra gold and maybe to do four extra damage to this guy, maybe. Yeah, fuck him. Is that a, is that a good trade? No, not at all. No, wait, you don't get two because you get uh, four interest gold. I go from one gold. to two. You get right? four interest gold now and four interest gold on creeps. True, yeah. No, four and five. Uh, you get four more and five more on creeps. So you get nine more and here you get two. So you lose you lose on seven gold. So this cost, you, this cost you seven gold. And it costs you even more gold because there's still more interest which you could have made. So it, it it's a lot of gold. I roll more. It's a lot of gold, yeah. And why am I not playing or got one right now? I don't know. You somehow value... Scrap four over... Scrap four, yeah, over... <laughs> I don't know. We have More rolling. I mean, now, now it makes sense, but imagine if you're rolling a lot more gold now... Or like you would have had a lot more gold 
You could have rolled a, a lot more gold. I mean, we're somewhat then, stable here, I think. The Caitlyn is a little random, but whatever. Oh, shit. Last Whisper. Okay. Why do you make Last Whisper? Uh, because the, the charts uh, say that it's a good item on Urgot. <laughs> because he, he, he shreds armor on two targets. Okay. Um, nice charts. Um... Why do you not typically need it on uh, Urgot? Uh, you've got Vi getting rid of armor, maybe? You have Vi, and uh -huh. later you have Jace or Victor. Uh-huh. So essentially, if you put Vi in front of Urgot, you have a Last Whisper. Yep. Fair. Right? And if you put in five Chemtech, you have a BT. Yep. So you have... So a runans on your ergot. You have one item. Because BT is semi-redundant and yep. Last Whisper is quite redundant as well. So you're asking why you can how you can lose a three-star ergot? Well if he has one item, then it's not that strong. Who gets blue buff by the way? Uh on this eventual board or the current one? The current one and, and eventual, yeah. Uh what do I have? I'd probably give it to Ziggs right now. Oh fuck! There's a six in there. Ah, uh, it's it's Vi. I would I would put on Vi. Vi oh, yeah, because she she shred hard real fast. Yeah, Vi into into Jace or um, Tom Kench. No. <laughs> like I don't want to put it on Zach because I'm gonna have him still. Wait, what? But. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I know. Like, when are you getting two star Mundo? Uh, not till I'm eight. Not for a while. Mm -hmm. so, like, so I can always reforge Zach. You can you can later like if you can roll another two star Zach or like but it's like right now it, it will give you so much value on the Zach. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and yeah, here I would probably make the blue buff because you have too many fucking tears. Like it's it's a it's a bad bad RNG bad game whatever you want to call it, but you got to use the tears. Yep, I think I do. No, not here. You're, you're making a blue buff. I don't know, like... Yeah. There's no no way around it. Night, nice blitz for the third time by the same guy, I believe. <laughs> Caitlyn just likes to get blitzed. Oh, and by the way, your Urgot is not safe, as I mentioned. If, if Yeah, I, you, you pointed that out, and I realized it when you said it, because I just keep putting him there, and then he... Sometimes he gets blitzed against people who want to climb. Mm-hmm. So I'm keeping scrap in because I chose Junkyard late and now it's hurting me. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. This is probably one of the comps that cannot run scraps. Scrap Almost, is not flexible in Chemtech. Yeah. I'm thinking... Well, actually, scrap is not flexible. Like, you, you can play Janna anywhere. But, yeah. like, you're going to play scrap eventually once you hit, once you hit Jinx and Janna. Mm -hmm. Right, but for other, I'm thinking other comps. Um, the Yone comp, you can hit, you can play Janna, but you want, you can play Janna Blitz possibly, but it's not the best. So it's like this, the scrapyard kind of like the augment griefed you because like you want to get the scrap value, but it's like you're making your board, your board intentionally weaker. Mm -hmm. Better from the early game, but oh, yeah. nice! So I, Look I at that. Blue. We got Look blue it. buff after after two rounds. Yay. Yeah, it's, after it's, it's sitting there. It's a garbage it is, item, it's... but it's better than two tiers on the bench. Oh, shit. Look at maybe this maybe even helped a little bit. Maybe it even helped a little bit. So, obviously, we want the Jinx, and if not the Jinx... Uh... Sadly, I'm at second place right now, so I don't get yeah. anything. But what would we want? Um, let's see I would like Mundo, want. but yeah. We're not, well, we don't want the unit. Um, uh, that's what I wanted. Light armor. Yeah, I don't have anything good to go with armor right now. But you can make a TG. Yeah. A TG is a frontline item for Zach. That's something I should be aware of. 
like right now gloves are kind of garbage i'm not gonna lie yeah. gloves gloves don't feel that great mm -hmm. so you can just burn two gloves and make a tg and put it on a frontline unit for extra dodge and for like most frontline units can use almost any item okay so keep that in mind he's love strong yeah Okay, I mean, I Bramble's I better, out. obviously. Sorry, sorry. I, <laughs> I lucked out. I didn't know, but... And there's my money. Dude, yeah. no! Ah! Yeah. Okay, again, 65 HP. Keep your fucking Not... calm. Level yeah, up on on uh, Raptors. Yeah, okay. This is, this is like HP specific. This is mm -hmm. HP and uh, contest specific. If someone is contesting your Urgot, then you level up now and roll. If you're low HP, then you level up now and roll. If you're at 65 HP, just build more econ. Like you, you, you. Over the course of the game, you you lost so much gold. Like the difference between like you and like a half competent challenger player is they would be eight right now with 70 gold. All right. With probably the same board, if not stronger board. Mm-hmm. And then everyone's be like, "What? How, how does this guy have everything? Because he econ properly." So, like, I think econ is like one of the most important aspects of the game that a lot of pl players just kind of don't play around correctly. Not interested in the case. Uh, yeah, yeah. You need a twin shot. Yes, yes I, I do, and I never get one because I it just brain shot. shot. Yeah. Okay. I, I, as soon as I lose at the end of this game, I'm like, I never got twin shot, and that's why. Yeah. By the way, there's a Trundle. Trundle is way better than Ziggs for four for four Bruiser. Still yep. a scrap. And, and scrap still. Yep. Yeah. You don't. No. no okay. You want to hodge on Echo? Okay. Whatever. I mean, I guess the hodge is okay if you if you roll the. The a like the the extra one because you get more attack speed from his ulti if if you're aware of that. Well, yeah, yeah. and um, um, I was thinking, uh, yeah, it's eventually going on Jinx. Jinx. Okay. Oh, my video quality is so bad. Um. Okay. <laughs> it's yeah. It's either binary or throw. I think it, yeah. But I guess and it's I not throw because you're at FBT. Wait, so... Yeah, great question. Great question. I understand what you're saying. <laughs> Why not six? Yeah, okay, okay. <laughs> so Echo actually does something for the whole fucking team. And somehow we're choosing... We're choosing to keep six. So you have... I, I like this. You have three, uh, and then three I Bruiser? Three yeah. And you have like, oh god. No, what am I doing? <laughs> after after, after you've you told, told me, I'm already like, like no, that, that was bad. bad. <laughs> I mean, the binary uh, is not terrible since you're getting extra items from scrap. But now it's like, okay, so did this rolling actually do anything for you? No, I still got clapped. Apart from fucking your econ. Like, that's yeah. that's all it did. It fucked your economy. That's all, all the rolling did. And you're... No! Why are we rolling on the creep round? Yeah, I, I was... I got excited. Dude, I'm an old fucking man, and even I can roll 30 gold in a round. Like, if you're at <laughs> 70, you roll down to 30. That's oh, fine. Yeah. Right? <laughs> you can roll down to 30 so that you, 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 you don't have to roll as much on the next, next round. Okay. But, like, realize, like, how... Uh, I guess yeah, you're, you're cool. like how incompetent you are at rolling, right? I am. But you you cannot be this incompetent. Don't tell me you can't roll twenty gold on five one. Sure can. You can, right? 100%. Yeah, yeah. What about the lists? What the fuck? Who is the secondary carrier of Ergot Comp? It's Lissandra. Yeah, I, I hope you know that, right? So I do know that. Okay, good. You do know that? Like, okay, I'm, I'm happy you know that. I'm happy you know that. I, me too. I <laughs> just need to execute. Yeah. <laughs> <coughs> You're playing Warwick and Liz until you find better shit. Mm -hmm. And then ideally you just keep playing Liz and you add uh, Victor once you hit. 
I do like the random Kaisa, but you're at oh you're at effectively zero gold. Oh god. And I yeah. yeah and you're and still I, rolling. Like why are you donkey rolling at rolling. fifty HP? You're at fifty HP. And that's gonna go on the Sandra, I think. I mean, if we buy her, sure. If, yeah, if we if we ever decide, because she's in the shop right now, so like you know, sell sell Caitlyn or sell Ziggs, get Lissandra. Great choice. Uh, sell Ziggs, get Cogma as well. Twin shot, yeah. Twin and shot and sniper, because Caitlyn Caitlyn's been there the whole game for some reason. I love that enforcer. It's so good. <laughs> oh, okay, okay, fine, fine. I yeah, I, that's my only uh, solution there. God, yeah. So this is <clears throat> hurts to watch. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I hope you feel the same. <laughs> mm -hmm. I hope it's not just me. But yeah, and you're just high rolling the ergots, cause like well, I thought high ergots whole game. You said you got three star ergot. I thought you actually econed well. No, you're just fucking lucky. No. Cause and I throw him, throw him in. He's great. You can buff. Her. Yeah, you can buff her. Scrap's gone, so why am I blueing Janna? Because you're going to put in Scrap eventually. True. Well, I, I do never find a Jinx, so it's sad. Uh, okay, yeah, but you're... But you, 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 you found lots of Trundles, though, which somehow... Yeah, which I didn't consider. Yeah. As a, I was just like, mid-game's over, Trundle's dead, bye. As a bruiser and a Scrap? No, not terrible. Yeah, I mean, I should, I should keep the, the thought open. Because I'm, like, I'm trying to like force the ideal comp, and that's not what I should be doing. You're playing the comp that you're given. Mm -hmm. And you're not donkey rolling Continue every goddamn roll. round. Because <laughs> <laughs> right now... My window's in the wrong place. Look at this guy. I think. This yeah, guy has, I don't know, 30-ish HP. He still has 40 gold. Big smart. Because he's thinking, oh, if I, if I lose a round... I have to roll down. But right now, I still have two, if not three lives, so I should chill. Wait, was that a different guy or that the same guy? Did there I was explain? another guy with 30 gold, right? Yeah. 40 gold and then 40, 30 gold. 30. Yep, Look at that. This guy has more HP. That's why he still has some fucking gold. It's that simple. If you have HP, you should keep, uh, you should keep gold. If you don't have HP... Like, since like 50 HP, you've been playing like you have your own one life. Okay. Like so you're cool it at the end. Well, you're playing like it's the end from whatever, four or five, it was the end already. Yeah. From four or five, you're hanging on for your dear life, trying to win one extra round. But you don't need to win one extra round. You want to win the game. And you, you're mm -hmm. in a position to do so. But by rolling like like you're rolling like you're desperate, but you're Far away from desperate, so yeah, I'm in first place right now. Yeah. Oh, bastard. Okay. I don't know why I put that on though. But we <coughs> oh we have three items. Oh, fuck. Oh god. Why do we put why do, why don't we put the blue buff on Kaisa? I'm sorry. I just realized. Oh um. Because the Hoj already has a tier, and the I don't know. Because we have binary wow. drop. Binary drop. So okay, you have rich get richer, which you mm -hmm. ignored the whole game. You have yes. scrapyard, which you played for two items. Like two items, yeah. And you have binary, which you're using for one unit. There are augments in the game. Uh -huh. just, augments just exist. Augments exist. They're like. <laughs> This is I, I this actually does something. Way. I know it's like, oh, we have like a little whatever parachute here and a bag of gold and some 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 uh, screw or whatever it's called, um, yeah. jack. But these okay. things actually do something. Right? These things yes. actually do something. They're not just like decorations. So just Oh my pretty. god. Oh fuck. <laughs> There's no way you should be getting this, like No, yeah, illegal. Sure, Caitlin. Bullshit! This is bullshit. Like I roll like a hundred gold because I econ properly. I don't get, I don't get ergot three, and you roll. It's okay. I still go seven. Don't worry. <laughs> <What>? <laughs> oh my god. Okay. 
I mean, Urgot has one item, so... Yeah, that's... that's uh, and, and no twin shot. Yeah. I pick up a I pick up a Cassidy to get muted. It's sweet. <laughs> no, <laughs> I'm not joking. I'm not joking. What is mutant? Oh, but that uh, none of those units are good with that. I mean, if you if you picked up the Kogma, I yeah, can understand. That'd be great. I can understand. That'd be a twin shot. I don't think I see one. I start. This is where I start looking for. Maybe a, a twin shot. I realize oh. it. I'm thinking it might be next round. So you don't need twin shot until Urgot is three star. Okay, I wasn't, yeah, that's, I wasn't that's, aware that's of that. The, that's the top play right there. So twin shot is a bait until Urgot three star. Okay, then. <laughs> I would say twin shot is not as necessary once you hit the Urgot three star. Um, but I mean, yeah, I just, still the... I think I just did eaten. The forty percent double cast is is kind of nice. And GG, out oh, one more. Straight to the bottom. Wow. Yeah. So that's that's because you had no gold to roll, and so like okay, so you want the ideal comp, right? Yeah. So I guess okay, we'll go into the build after this and just like theory craft this comp from from beginning to end. Fuck <laughs> me, random Macaulay. Um. Probably good. Kaisa is somewhat splashable. I don't know if Akali is splashable. Um, yeah. Maybe get the Taric instead and figure out where the Socialite spot is. Maybe 20% more damage on, on your, your three-star Urgot can do something than a random Akali. Yumi. Like, Hooray, Yumi. And then I keep the Akali, yeah. Where... Uh, what about Chase? You had Enforcer right. before. I saw Chase, yeah. You said you like it. Enforcer, but you changed your mind. I did. I, I might put him in, I'm not sure. No, I put him in the same <laughs> So we have four Camtech, three Scholar, three Bruiser. Let's go. Yep. It's Are you fan. playing build differently on purpose? Look at, look, at look at that. Look at that. Look at that slam right there. And GG. I lose. So, okay. In Urgot's defense, it's not his fault, okay? This is not Urgot's yes. fault. It's a pilot defense. Holy shit. Wow, okay. So that that should have been an eighth, by the way. Like if you didn't hit the Urgot three, that could have been an eighth. Maybe, maybe you don't yeah. you don't beat out as quickly, but wow. Okay. Lots of problems there. So um Oh shit, my bad. I'll just to make it more realistic. Can I get yeah there we go. Uh -huh. Maximize this. So we have Caitlin, we have Elawi, we have Blitz, Bye, Trundle. Okay, there we go. Whatever. This is this is a decent starting board. So what could your level six board be? Um, I can go four bruiser scrap. I can go uh, four scrap, uh, which is what I chose. Yeah. But bruiser's probably better. Bruiser's which is what we talked probably about. better. Um, <coughs> okay, so now, like, if we don't have this in particular, like, the easiest fucking pivot of my life is if you already have this shit... You already had this shit, right? Right. So then you just try to More find. You just you just uh, try to put in a Zach. Yeah. And then I'm 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 straight. And then all you the need way then you need one challenger. That's mm -hmm. it. Mm -hmm. Typically, like Quinn is probably the best challenger here. Yeah, this arm so good. Isn't this? I mean, okay, maybe okay, and obviously you had this. You had this, by the way. So instead of instead of these two. Uh, if you find a replacement trundle and then you put in echo because this is, this is like this is the build I'm used to and this is the mm -hmm. build you can reroll you can reroll this build on six so you want to hit this on six mm -hmm. like rolling it a little bit and then uh, you can either reroll this or you can continue to to play ergot yep but this is definitely stronger than I think the four scrap you're running I believe it. 
Because you get rid of Caitlyn, you get rid of Ilawi. I mean, obviously, you need to two-star some of these things. But, but that's yeah. where the roll-on comes yeah. in. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah. why you roll a little bit on 3-2. Okay, okay, so, so uh, in general, do you, this is a good recommended mid-game comp. Are there other ones that I can look for? Because that's I think that's where I struggle a lot, is transitioning from early to mid-game. And then in, into late-game, I'm familiar with the, some end-game comps, but the middle-game is struggling. Okay, so for... For Argot, I think this is by far the the best. Because you can you can either three star these units or just play Argot from this spot. Mm -hmm. So then give me a, another opener. Because it's based uh, it's based on the opener. You don't want to pivot too hard because you like you already had Listen the Shop, you had Warwick, you had uh, mm -hmm. Ilawi, and you had the Caitlyn. Like you had some of these things. That's why I'm saying like it would have been easy to just play the Warwick and the List and maybe another Brawler and the Echo. And yeah. Okay, so say I have a, a syndicate opener. So I've got Darius, Zyra, um, and TF. Okay, so so what what do you typically want with? Okay, yeah. So let's let's uh, fill out the synergies. I can add a bodyguard, Arcanist, or scholar. So I guess a, a Heimer. Yeah, Heimer's good. He's been here. I mean, he's he's coming. Later, but like you, you could add in a, a blitz, for example, mm -hmm. or a, a, a poppy, mm -hmm. a ziggs, Suddenly and then you add in Heimer, and you have Yordle. And that's six game come. Yeah. Then you have Yordle, and you have Syndicate. This is kind of okay. Mm hmm. It might, it might get me to... And this this can be, somehow. like, a little... Like, if you don't want to go... like, But, like, this is, like, if you want extra value, you go for the Poppy. If you want to be a little bit stronger, you go for the Blitz. And then give me Where? some items. Like, you, you uh, wouldn't be... You, you, like, this would be an AP cop, right? Yep. So this would be, like, so, a blue buff TF or a blue buff Heimer. Mm -hmm. And then, like, some, some tech items on, on Darius. Yep. And from this spot, you're either continuing to play Heimer with maybe like Heimer Innovator, mm -hmm. or you're just going to play Lux. If you have the blue okay. buff, you're just, you're just playing Lux. But you want to go, and... you, we were discussing, because like the reason I like the previous board a lot is because from, from this spot, like you can still, you can play Warwick, Camille, Quinn, Swain, Talon, Samira. So, so yeah, it flexes, flexes to, it can be Challenger, Challenger Imperial, or uh, Chemtech. And this is like, like the, the, the what I showed you, you can either reroll Warwick, or you can go to Urgot, or you can go, or, and from this, you can reroll re -roll, uh, Samira, like Imperials, or you can go to Yone. Okay. Obviously, from this, you can, you can go to Urgot as well if you hit Urgot, and from the other board, you can go to Yone if you hit Yone. Mm -hmm. But like this is the the easier transition into challengers, and that would be the easier transition into Urgot. So it's just like this board, and then actually I can do share, copy to make it faster. So that would be like these units, and we had we had the Lissandra, Lissandra Zach, Zach Lissandra. Yeah. Uh, Echo, Trundle. Yeah. So I think these would be like, these are two options you want in the mid game, ideally. And you can like, either you're getting a lot of Swains, Warwick and, and Talon and Quinn, like here's just Samira. Here you need to hit the, the Zac and the Liss and the Echo. So whichever, whichever game I'm hitting. Yeah, whichever you're, you're hitting more. Yeah. Um, and let's give you like one more. So we'll be like, one more opener that you can you can you can play that that can still be pivoted into Urgot and uh, Yone. What do you think? Oh, sorry, sorry writing down all those things that you just said. Oh shit! I guess okay. I, was, I can come back to it. Yeah, no, no, no write, um, write, write it down, of course. Uh, I mean, it's it's gonna be in the vod. I will post the the vod, so you have it. Uh, let's see. I could I could have a Vi in there that can still transfer in there. Um, where are we? Uh, Kogma. I guess a, a Kogma. Uh, something could transition into Urgot. If I'm not gonna. 
but then I wouldn't be slamming items in Kogma, and then it would be bad. So, okay, uh, why, don't you, um, why don't you tell me? <laughs> I will show you. So this is kind of uh, easy build that you can you can run. You have your Ezreal, you have your Camille and Zillion, then you have your Singed, mm -hmm. and then you can run a Quinn perhaps, or and then you run uh, ideally you run an Echo because he's just he's just really strong. Something like this. Yep. yep. And then Camille is your is your tank, mm -hmm. and Ezreal is your carry. I'm familiar I'm with the Ezreal, Ezreal carry. carry. Earlier, yeah. I was playing a lot of that. Yeah. Then you have yeah whatever. And I mean, you you your your Camille can hold your Camille can kind of hold Yone items as well. Technically, you can you can play mm -hmm. Camille carry, but you'd rather have it back on the Ezreal because he's just safer. Yep. yep. And, and then from yeah. I was gonna say it could also this could also go innovator if I high roll it. Uh, this but can go innovator. Not this, the items. this can go this can go Jin, mm -hmm. right? This can go Jin if you hit the Jin. This can go innovator if you get like five innovator or seven innovator. Yeah, but this is like like a I wanted to give you different unit opener. Like Echo is is pivotal in most comps, and mm -hmm. Quinn is just one of the best uh, challengers because she has a disarm. Yep. Like two second disarm is is really good. Especially since he disarms the fastest attacking unit, which is typically the carry. So, yeah. And people usually clump like this as well. So maybe you want, like, Ezreal... You want to you wanna position like this or something. So, like, wait, I think Quinn is the fastest attack, so you want to position like this. So that, like, Quinn is... If there's someone playing another Quinn, your, just your Quinn gets uh, disarmed and not your units next to her. Okay. Yeah. It's like these small positioning things. Like, you have the Zillion to get blitzed, and then you have the Quinn to get disarmed. Maybe you have the Camille in the back, or you have you have the the little the little bug in the back, like mm -hmm. the the scarab or the bear. Yeah. Okay. So it's like early game, you just play whatever whatever you hit. And obviously you can play Kogma. But then you have to do like a full pivot. Because from yeah. this, at least you're playing some challengers, so you can kind of slowly put in more challengers. Like if you if you hit <laughs> some challengers if you get lucky um you can kind of pivot this to samira and then maybe you hit the if you hit the yone you're like oh i hit the yone i guess i'm i'm definitely pivoting this to to the yone comp mm -hmm. and then okay so you replace echo with whatever with like a heimer it doesn't really matter just yeah. hit innovator but innovator but those are giving me the option to high roll which is good yeah yeah, yeah, and it's like whenever you whenever you hit uh, a Yone or an Urgot or a Jin, you kind of like some of my best games. I'm not saying I do this all the time. Is like I play with this. I I would like if I had a if I had a Jin and a Yone, I would probably play a Jin here first, like Jin, mm -hmm. and maybe I could like I would yeah I would be playing this this. So I would have I, I would still really. have uh, no no. I, I was saying like we cut we cut the we can cut the Zillion. And we don't have this, so we can we can play a replacement Ezreal, and mm -hmm. we can still play we can still play the Echo. So then we still have like at least Scrap Clockwork and like some of this stuff. Oh, and we don't have Quinn. So for for Quinn we have the Caitlyn or we have a uh, MF for example. Yeah, yeah. And somehow I took out Innovator by accident. So, oh yeah, this is this is there's supposed to be another Innovator in here. Something like this and uh like that for example. Gotcha. Yeah, so it's like, and then and then like, oh shit! I hit a Yone two star. I'm not hitting two star Jin, so I I still kept some of my stuff on the bench. So then you can kind of pivot back into the two star Yone. Okay. So like, you're wasting econ for no reason. No offense, but That's, yeah. I, no, yeah, I underline <laughs> I underlined that uh, a lot. But what you can do is you can have like. One, you can have like a uh, Jin, you can play the Jin, and you can have a Yone on the bench. Like you have a Yone and a Jin on the bench. Mm -hmm. And then you start rolling, and you get two more Yones. So you're like, hey, oh, you Yone. Jin is not coming. Okay, so then we're, we're pivoting out, and we're playing Yone. So like, it's, it's usually worth losing Econ over to hold like a Yone pair, or a Jin pair. If you're, even if you're playing like, if you're playing one Yone, and you have like, you have just one, but you have like a Urgot and a Jin pair on your bench. Hold them. 
you can hold them. It's like it, it costs you a lot of econ. The, the units are expensive, but it's like if you're not gonna hit Yone two and you can play Jin or Urgot two, then just go for it. Okay. Like maybe maybe the Yone Yone would get you top two. These guys would get you top four. But if you don't hit two star Yone, you're not not even getting a top four. So it's like, do I want a guaranteed top four if I if I hit this, or do I want a top two, a greedy top two? Which means I can also get a top six. Well, I prefer yeah. having the top four out if I don't if I don't get my top two or top one. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Very, any 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 questions? Uh, no, I mean, so like I so I was taking notes the whole time. So uh, just going through, uh, have my top one, two, three, or even four items ready. Uh, your first augment is flexible, but you need to play into it. Uh, scout for blitz cranks all the time. Yep. Play into your augments, and then instead of just uh, leveling whenever I feel like it early on in the game, reevaluate each round and see if I need. If I'm, am I trying to be stronger now, or do I want to be stronger later and stay with econ? Is a good question to ask myself. Yeah. Oh uh, wait, is this the cheat sheet? Fuck. Where's the? Is it in the? I always lose this. Lose this. Uh... Oh, it's in guides. Maybe. There we go. Which... Yeah. So yeah, so it's like you should be, you should decide if you're lost streaking here or if you're leveling and being aggressive, and then you're mm -hmm. leveling on three two and then like uh, three seven four one or or four two. If you're rich, then on three five, and then and ideally, when I'm rolling down, yeah, yeah. I I, I, I love I love the level up and roll a little bit. I do like you're supposed to level up and roll. Typically not here, but mm -hmm. definitely here. Level up and roll on three two, three, two and then yeah. then you roll a lot more on four one. And if you don't have to roll all the way down, you want to get to 8, ideally if you have the HP, on 5-1, and then you roll down, you can roll down to 0. Just, But, like, you roll down to hit something, because, like, you hit 2-star Urgot, and the whole time you were rolling, like, yes, you were extremely lucky with your shops, but you were not supposed to be that lucky. So, like, you rolled... Yeah, it's not going to happen. It's just, <laughs> it's just a lot of wasted gold. Yep. Like, as long as you have HP and you have a somewhat decent board... Which I believe your board was relatively de like okay, relatively decent like, giving the the restraints because like obviously you were not playing the ideal board but that's because you were just mm -hmm. like skipping over Kogmas and Lissandras and everything, but yeah. like let's say you're happy with your board, you should kind of uh, rolling should be done in bursts like you level up and roll, and then you level up and roll again so it's like level up and roll here, sit on it, sit on level sit up on it. roll yeah. a bit more and then level up and roll a lot. And then once you kind of hit your shit, like either you hit your shit, then you're then you're chilling, and then you can consider either rolling for three stars or going nine, mm -hmm. <coughs> or your donkey rolling. But your donkey rolling typically for like a bunch of two stars. Round. So like Mundo yeah. two, Zach two, Urgot two, Lissandra two, maybe a lucky Jinx or like some other Vi two, like this kind of stuff. And then if you have like a one star Janna and a one star whatever support unit, you're like okay, fuck it. I need to save up gold and then you can save up to 50. Maybe you can go nine or you save up to 50 and then you're like, okay, I'm, I'm kind of low on HP. Now it's time to roll all of that 50 gold to perhaps hit some like three star or God or hit some other three star. And try to try to save top but, four. Yeah. But if you're, if you're rolling every round, like that's only if you're about to die, you Got should it. not roll every round if you're not about to die because you just, you're losing out on so much extra potential gold. Okay. Yeah, sorry, I kind of um, cut you off. So yeah, please go for your notes. Oh yeah, I mean that's I think that's that's where I was uh, mostly to focus on econ and uh, have a plan going in, but flex the augments if if I hit uh, some specific ones. Like if your augments are good, then yeah, like we discussed earlier, it's like you you play the the super strong augments like so small. Like if you so have small, so small, you one, just yeah, stopwatch. Yeah. Chemtech, bodyguard. Exactly. Like if you if you get the if you get the good armament, it's like okay, so I'm definitely playing this this game. Otherwise, gotcha. you go for like Thrill of the Hunt, Celestial Blessing, uh, more money. Like all the econ augments are fine, but like yeah, you definitely you definitely want to flex to to a certain certain degree based on your augments, but otherwise you should be defaulting to your comps. And yeah, as as you pointed out, it's bow or sword. Possibly, or armor or cloak as your follow-up components. And then you know every game what you want to start, and you know every game <coughs> kind of what you want to build towards. Oh, shit, I closed okay. it. Okay. 
but I think I have it in the in the. Oh, it's here. Okay. So I can, and I'll, yeah, I I wrote these down too. So. Yeah. So you want to like build towards this, so you're picking up these units. And I think at the start, yeah, at the start, the Leona was really like, at the at the very very start of the game, you're just looking for front line back line. Which at the start it wasn't that clear that you were aware of this. No, it's like you, you played, right. you had like Graves, Ilawi, Caitlin, and uh, then you're kind of like fumbling for some backline. And I think the first fight you kind of lost because you had three front line and one backline. If you maybe had like a Kogma of the Caitlyn, it could have been better. Like obviously, I don't think you had a Kogma in the shot, but like some sort of balance between front line and backline is always good. Gotcha. And front line are are. Our bruisers, uh, bodyguards, bodyguards, and uh, possibly protectors, and backline uh -huh. can be any like assassin or any ranged carry. So yeah, that's kind Sweet. of yeah how you should play it. Yeah. Perfect. So I, I, will I uh, try hope, to implement that. I hope this helped. I think it did. And yeah, let's end the video there. So thank you guys for tuning in and watching Coaching with Kristen. Take care. Hey.